name, all sorts of information, full of claims. To deal with a claim, our first point of law, our first point of being what one might think of as some kind of lawyer, or standing one's ground, or being in some kind of sovereignty, which is not a word I'm, I'm a fan of, because it's a claim, is the first point of law for anyone, for all of us, is the question that we ask when the claim has been made. And how do we learn to formulate a question when a claim is being stated? So, for instance, is your name Thomas? Is it? Question mark. It's one way of dealing with someone I might not want to uh, get involved with. Do you realise you're going over the speed limit? How would I open the door on that claim? Was, Was I? Okay. And then I'll say, yeah, you were. Well, what do you believe about that? I'd say. That opens the door again. It's a fair question. Ah, oh, well, you've broken the law. Um, did someone tell you that? Did someone tell you that? This is one of my favourite. Did someone tell you that? That's kind of asking for evidence, more or less. And uh, you might get, you know, yeah. Let, let's assume he says, he or she says, yes. Right? And then you say, well, you know, um, then it's hearsay, isn't it? So hearsay is anything that is not directly being claimed. So by, he, by him or her saying that um, they were told, it means that it's hearsay. It's been passed on from the person who may claim it, if there is someone that will claim it. So people wave around a lot of stuff in the name of their job or whatever, you know, they've got pieces of paper and all this stuff, the claims. But who's going to claim it? So we're wanting to bring into question uh, with the person that one's dealing with the claim. Is it from somebody? And uh, if it is, can I, sp uh, well I'd need to speak to them. So I got a call on my way here, funnily enough, from, from a, um, I believe they're debt collectors. It was an Indian guy on the phone and asked if my name was Thomas. Um, and I said, oh, I used the name. And I was like, oh, I might, I might do a little bit of practice on this because I was on my way here. And he wanted <coughs> me to sort of verify things for him so he could then kind of draw me into this stuff that he had waiting to, to give to me. He said what Thomas is going to give. Everything, everything is given. Uh, I call it every, uh, the best way to think of everything in reality uh, of this nature is it's an offer, an offer to believe. So he didn't get very far. So I was sort of like, 
you know, you sort of say anything, I was like, well, you know, okay. You know, he's expecting me to sort of give him, give him information or something. And I was like, you know, and he's like, well, I can't blah, 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 unless blah, blah, blah. And I was like, right. Well, John, you know, so there was nothing to grab onto. And then um, I got a, another phone call. I said, hey, I've got a phone call. I've got to go. Have a good night. And that was it. Um, so you're probably getting a bit of an idea where this is coming from. And what this is good for um, is dealing with burdens. If one wants to use the system, we need to sometimes go into a different area because you're wanting to use certain processes. But in terms of fines or dealing with uh, all sorts of claims, debts um, can be dealt with. Uh, this stuff is is um, incredible. And um, one thing I want to say is everything in this world we use. So in this stuff, we don't possess anything. Because as soon as you possess something, someone's going to try and perhaps take it away from you. So we use it. And that way, so when, you know, the, if someone said, you know, is this your car? You'd say, well, I use the car. Cop my police officer might say, is this your car? So I use it. Is this your name? I use the name. I use it. So I'm hoping to go to court soon and I'm expecting one of the first things to, to be said is uh, is Thomas McKenzie here? Or something like that. Ding ding like being at school, right? Um, from a young age. And you know, I've sort of rehearsed this in my mind and I'm like uh, I use that name, I'll say. I use that name. I use that name. You know, so I might start with that. And that'll be enough for him for him or her. And I'll be like, cool. There's the there's the one. And I don't know how it's gonna go, but I suspect one of the first things I'll be asked is with this matter here, well, I may be asked, why are you here, Thomas? And I might say, I don't know, Judge, I was hoping you could tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm interested in what might be said. That's why I'll be going. I want to see what the judge has to say. Maybe learn something. Um, so I'll see how that goes, and then something that's probably inevitably going to be asked me is, do you plead guilty or innocent? And I'm going to say, well, Judge, how would I know? Could, it, could I be a bit of both? <laughs> and he's going to say, I need a plea. And then I'll be at a crossroads. Do I want to make a plea? Well, I don't know if I can make a plea, Judge, unless I can speak to someone who believes I'm guilty. And that might be the end of it. I might, might be like, well, if you're finished and I'm finished, I'll go home. Uh, will that have dealt with the fine? A lot of people I meet, you know, they want the fines to go away. They want all the paperwork to just disappear and be resolved. 
Don't worry about life, because it's not yours. Just learn to deal with this world of claims. There's a world of paper, a world of claims. It's all going to get thrown at you. You'll travel the world and it'll get thrown at you. I try to say your kids things about your ch the children. I try to say this and no. that. So we want to learn to deal with that world. And you can't be lukewarm. You have to be hot. You have to have the fire in you. The gusto. Or you're cold. Or you'd be ice. You'd be just cool and solid. But don't be lukewarm, because it just doesn't seem to work. We're dealing with a spiritual law there, as, as I understand, as I sort of feel it. You're dealing with energy, peak human beings. It's not all automatic. It's not just going to, as, as you were sort of saying, you want to see that it works. We've got to make it work. Oneself becomes the law when you learn this stuff. It is like a martial art. It's not set in stone. Is it corrupt? Yeah, you could say it is corrupt. But if you are careful and you learn to stay in honour and you don't mind making mistakes, you'll find you'll get some incredible results. 